Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. So today's tutorial is on these gorgeous Aztec tribal inspired nail art designs. These are using the new Dixie plate, so stay tuned if you want to see how they're done. Please excuse my nails, they're in dire need of being doing, they are both odd, so please excuse that. So this is the new gorgeous plate from Dixie Plates, it is the Lines 01 mini plate and it has got so many gorgeous line detailed images on. So as I said this is from Dixie Plates and then you can go to the website shown on screen now, Dixie Girl XOX and you can get Dixie Plates from there, you can also get them from the UK stockist which is Sarah R here on YouTube, which is Stamping Queen UK. So you can purchase them from both those places. I'll leave all links in the description box down below for everything I use in this video. So I'm just giving you a closer look of the plate and you can see how beautiful the images are etched into this plate. Each plate comes individually wrapped in its own packaging with a blue film. So after I've unpacked it, I am cleansing it and prepping it with some acetone. I will be using my Dixie Plates Double Diamond Clear Stamper for doing all these designs. And I'll be using the new Dixie Plates Scraper, which is more firm than the old one. And I love it. So I always prep my stamper by rolling it on a lint roller and I do this between every time I stamp. So I'm going to be using Hit the Bottle as black as night stamping polish as well as Hit the Bottle champagne shifter and then lastly I will be using Hit the Bottle in bubblegum bliss. These are stamping polishes and they will be the only ones I'm using. I'm also going to be using Magpie Gel Colour Toodaloo. Also Magpie Gel Colour Fanny Annie. The next gel colour I'll be using is Granny Smith. Up next we have Hannah Banana. All these gel colours are from Magpie Beauty. And lastly we have Plain Jane, which is the white. So I'm just going to decant these onto my palette, ready to go. And I've painted some swatch sticks using these gel colours ready to start. I will also be using some transfer foils, this matte rose gold and a bright metallic gold. I will also be using Magpie Beauty's Striper Nail Art Brush. This is perfect and so detailed for getting those crisp lines. So I'm starting off with Fanny Annie on the swatch stick and taking that matte rose gold foil. And I'm just using the inhibition layer that was already on the gel polish to stick the foil on. So I'm now going in with my Magpie Striper brush. I'm taking some of that white Plain Jane gel polish and I'm applying it in the middle of my nail in a small rectangle shape. This is going to be the base for the stamping design coming up. So just using my brush, making sure I get that as straight as I possibly can and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, now using Hit the Bottle as Black as Night stamping polish, applying it to the plate, scraping once and picking up with my stamper with a light flick of the wrist and rolling across the image. Using my scraper to clean up any of the black polish on the stamper I don't want to transfer onto the nail pop. And then just placing it onto the nail, holding it for a few seconds to make sure it's properly attached. And then there you can see the design, it's transferred beautifully, the image picks up perfectly. So I'm now going to add a little bit more detail with some gel polish. So I'm going in with some from the palette and just adding a couple of dots here and there where I feel it looks right. I did add these two dots here which I later decided I wasn't too keen on how they looked. So I decided to go in with one of these micro swabs and just clean those two areas up before I put it in to the lamp to cure. So there you have it, that nail is all done. 
So moving on to the next now, I've got the yellow pop stick and I'm going to be using that gold transfer foil, again applying it into that inhibition layer. Magpie gels have a quite a sticky one so they work perfectly with transfer foil. So that's what that looks like all done. And now going in with my black stamping polish again, applying it to the image, scraping down once. Picking up that image with the flick of the wrist, cleaning up any of the design that I don't want on the stamper and then just applying it straight down onto my nail pop stick and I'm going to be adding a couple more of those same images to the right and the left of the design and making sure I clean up any areas that I don't want with one of those micro swabs again. Just want to quickly jump on and say thank you so much to Kate from Dixie Plates for sending me this gorgeous stamping plate to play with and show you guys. It's absolutely gorgeous, so thank you so much, Kate. to the next design I'm going to be hand painting some lines onto this nail swatch stick so I'm starting off with the lightest colour which is Fanny Annie which is a beautiful nude and I'm just painting one large stripe down the whole centre of the nail I'm trying to make this as straight as I possibly can so that when I come in with my next colour it is a lot easier to apply so once that's done, we're now going to go in to the next colour, which is Hannah Banana, which is the gorgeous yellow shade. And I'm going to be applying this down the centre of that Fanny Annie. And I am curing between each layer and each line I create, I cure it between each. So just using that Hannah Banana and creating a line down the centre of the first line we created. Next, going in with the pale green, which is Granny Smith, and I'm adding two thin lines down either side of the two big lines in the centre of the nail, just to add an extra bit of detail. You can add as many lines as you want, you can add as little lines as you want, you could just have one, you could have seven. It's completely up to you, but this is how I chose to do it. So once that's all done, I'm going back in with a stamping plate, applying my black polish and scraping and picking up the image. I chose this gorgeous design to the right. You've got a variety of different size image on this plate, which I absolutely love. So it's great for small nails, great for long nails. It's perfect. And I'm applying that design straight over the top of the pale pink and the yellow stripe down the center of the nail making sure I hold that on for a good amount of time to make sure it sticks to the nail well and you can see how beautifully that design went on just remember to clean off your plate between each use that just ensures that your stamp design will go onto the nail crisply every time and I always love using my scraper to clean up the design on the stamper which creates less mess to clean up so I'm now going in with that little dotty line which I love, it's a beautiful detail and I'm going over those two pale green lines that I created on the nail on both sides of the design. And once you've applied that last little line you are all done with this image. I absolutely love this one. So going on to the last design I created with this palette, I am using this image here, which is a beautiful kind of crisscross X's and arrows type of pattern. And I'm using Champagne Shifter, which is a beautiful rosy gold stamping polish. And I'm applying that directly on top of that nail pop stick. And I'm using my micro swab again to clean up any areas which I don't want on the nail. Next step, I'm going in with Bubblegum Bliss, which is the baby pink stamping polish. 
and I'm taking this little liney line and I'm going to apply that onto the nail either side of where I've just placed champagne shifter and as you can see there I was having trouble picking up that image off of the stamp up with my scrapers to try and clean up some of the excess sometimes this happens if you're being too slow like I was with picking up the image it dries really quickly so you can still use that image I would just say hold your stamper onto the nail a little bit longer to make sure it's transferred perfectly don't let an image go to waste so I'm repeating that process on the right hand side of the nail as well creating those two pink accent lines and next we are going back in with champagne shifter and going in with this kind of chain effect look and I'm applying that to the outsides again so bordering the nail on the left and the right hand side So once I'm done with the stamping, I'm going to go back in with my gel polish and add some more detail. So I'm taking that nice dark coral colour and adding some dots in the centres of the design in the middle, applying that wherever I want it. And then I'm going to go in with the baby pink and dot that in a couple of other areas. I think the beauty of this plate, this stamping plate, is that you can add your own detailing as well, which I think enhances the designs. So definitely don't just stamp it down and think, I'm done. You can totally add more detail, which I think gives a more creative effect and it makes your designs unique as well. So there you have it, they are the four designs I created with the new Dixie Plates Line 01 Mini Plate. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial, I absolutely love how all these nails turned out, perfect for summer and festivals. So I can't wait to show this plate to my clients, they are going to love it. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!